Dobar dan i dobrodošli u engleski jezik za drugi razred srednje škole. Današnja tema je umjetnost i umjetnička dijela. Moje ime je Jelena Kovačević. Dragi učenici, danas ćete proširiti vokabular vezan za umjetnost i kulturu, čitati izvrne tekstove vezane za umjetnost, te sami sastaviti i izložiti tekst o odabranoj slici i slikaru. Za današnji sat potrebna vam je bilježnica ili papir za pisanje, pribor za pisanje te računalo s pristupom internetu. As a warm-up, you can check your knowledge of art. There are two quizzes here. You can take the shorter one, the first one, or the longer one, the second one. Or you can do both. Okay, so let's get started. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the paintings presented here. Do you know their names though? The first one is Mona Lisa, Starry Night, and The Scream. What about the gentlemen in these photographs? Can you recognize them? Do you know who they are? They are the authors or the painters who painted the previously shown paintings. Their names are Vincent van Gogh, Edward Monk, and Leonardo da Vinci. Now let's try to match these paintings to the painters who created these masterpieces. Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Starry Night is a masterpiece created by Vincent van Gogh. And the scream was painted by Edward Monk. These three masterpieces have been listed among 100 world's most famous paintings. Go to the given website to find out what the remaining top 100 masterpieces are. Choose one painting to do a project work on it. Do a research on the chosen painting and compose a text about this masterpiece. Bear in mind that your text should contain information about the painting itself, such as when it was painted, which period it belongs to, which technique was used, what artistic features are visible in the painting, what it presents, and so on. Information about its author, the painter, includes some interesting facts about him or her, and your opinion of it. For this research, you can use whatever sources you come across, and here are some sites that may help you start your research. Practice reading your text out loud and record yourself presenting the painting using this free online tool. Then download the recording as a QR code. Now, for your information, Vocaroo is one of the simplest tools. However, it does not provide permanent storage. So your recording might get deleted in a week or so. Therefore, I suggest you download it and save it to your own computer. You can upload your audio recording to your preferred online storage service, such as Google Drive or OneDrive, iCloud or similar. Copy the link and convert it into QR code using any of the online QR code generators available. Now it's time to create your online design. Go to canva.com, sign up there, and design your digital poster. Your poster should include the name of the painting and the author, the picture of the painting, five short hints or guidelines about the painting, the QR code of your recording, your full name, class, and school. Then download the finished design 
as an image. Now it's time to assess your work before posting it online. Let's use my poster as an example and see whether it meets all the criteria mentioned earlier. My poster contains the name of the painting and the name of the painter. There is the image of the painting. There are five notes about the painting. There is the QR code of my voice recording. You can see my name and the name of the imaginary class, but there is no name of the school. Also, if you scan the QR code, you will notice that the text does not contain my opinion, so my work should be revised. Now upload your finished poster on the Padlet wall here. Let's see how many students take up this challenge. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson and learned something new. Stay well. Bye-bye.